Morning everybody. Welcome to the Curly Cooks of Croydon. We're here every Saturday live to spend a little time with you. Last week it was epic. It was an hour and 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't know why. But we had so much fun. We did. Um, I didn't. This, uh, is my sister. <laughs> this is my sister Dina, if you've never met her. I'm Nadia, if you've never met me. And this is somebody that just keeps turning up. We don't know where he's come from, but he holds the camera for us. <laughs> Some geezer. Some geezer. Um, so today we are celebrating through our food, doing very traditional English food. Yep. We are celebrating St. George's Day. Mm. But come on, when is St. George's Day? Is it today? When is it? Is it next Answers Saturday? Now. Is it Tell next us. Sunday? Is it a week Tuesday? When is Because you George's know we never do anything on the day, so it's yeah. not today. So when is St George's Day? So whilst you're answering that, folks, um, I'm going to be doing a roast beef dinner in under 40 minutes, I reckon. Whoa. In a giant Yorkshire. Set the timer. And Dina is doing a fabulous vegan. I'm doing a vegan sausage and mash basically Whoa. but not sausage and mash as you know it and i'm doing you a homemade vegan gravy yeah and I'm... lots and lots and lots of people ask me for yeah so. and she does usually does massive batches of this don't you yeah. keep it in the freezer i'm also going to be doing a really easy red wine gravy uh, except i've burnt the onions a bit but you're going to pretend you haven't seen that yeah a bit burnt. Um, but it's only because I putting the oven on for her. And for there. me. Um, so, and then Mark from Pudding is going to be doing <gasps> apple cinnamon fritters. Oh, my God. Yeah. So we've got some gorgeous food here. Dina's found some gorgeous wine. So hang out with us. And this is our dog, Chi Chi. And wherever we're live, she starts begging for treats. Because she knows she annoys us when we're live. Go to bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Bed. Go to bed. Go to bed. Vanessa. Go to bed. Oh, we'll take a long W-A-L-K later. Stay. Right. Right, so I'm... Let's just... get started. So, um, these have... So in here I've Everyone's got... Everyone's saying St. George's Day is the 23rd tomorrow. Don't know yet. Keep guessing. Um, so in here I've had roasting. Uh, two onions, three carrots, two sticks of celery. It doesn't look like it because it's mulched down now. Smell and gorgeous about meat. 150 grams of mushrooms with some thyme. So I want to get that out now because that's really dry and crusty. All right. Um, Do you put celery in? I put celery. Yeah. I said celery, didn't I? Yeah, I don't know. I yeah. wasn't quite listening. But because celery, guys, don't be frightened of celery. Celery adds, a, if, you, if you've had just a bit of celery and you've bit on it, bitten on it, you might think, oh, I don't want a gravy with celery in it. But you will not taste it. When but you... it will give a flavour. When I was living in Italy, whenever you go to the greengrocers, you, uh, you bought all your things and in the end they shove into your bag a load of sticks of celery free. and carrots and things free. Why because do they get nothing for free in this country? Nothing. 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 Celery for we, free. For like, free. Like, like, you know when you're you abroad. celery for free. You know, you know like when you're abroad. Anybody wants anything that's free. Celery. So when I was at the ideal home, okay, they were giving away cat food. Guess what? I haven't got cat. But you wanted some. You wanted the cat food. But it was free. But uh -huh. also, when you're abroad, do those potatoes need to be on? Yes. Get your ones off. You, when you're abroad, you know, and you've had a big meal and they bring you limoncello or they bring you brandy, that would never, ever happen yeah, in this right. country. It's like we don't have top up coffees or soft drinks in this country. No. You know, in America, you well, go to you, a diner, yeah. you have a coffee, they come back up, you want a top up. Nando's. Do you want uh, a refill? Ikea. Okay. Do they do that? Oh, Ikea do. Right, so into that, I'm going to put. Two tablespoons of flour. Sorry, I wasn't listening. What are you making? I'm making a vegan or vegetarian gravy. There's no reason why it's not vegetarian as well. No. Shall I pour some of that water out so it comes to the boil quicker? Oh, so what, what's the significance of roses? Right, so... What? So I always ask the children, what we do with symbolism in art? I this say, is a teacher in case the first time you've art met Art teacher. Um, we... Uh, I asked them what are the symbols of all the different countries, and they always know the thistle for Scotland. Yeah. And they nearly always know um, the daffodil yeah. for Wales, but they never know the rose for England, which is very strange. War of the Roses, no doubt. War of the Roses. War of the Roses. 
So there we've got our flower. Just get that up. Happy birthday, bit. Kelly! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Is it sunny where you are? We are we are getting a little bit of sun in London. Let's in sing Happy birthday to Kelly. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Kelly. Happy birthday to you. Guys, today we are going to be making a big half announcement at some point in the show. The reason it's half announcement is we know what we want to do, but we haven't worked out quite the logistics of it yet. So it's not really half an announcement, it's a half-baked announcement. Yeah, very yeah. half-baked, half-cooked. <laughs> Save me some right, of that so tonight. now um, I'm going to put in, very annoyingly, this very expensive wine. Oh, no, not expensive wine, it was seven ninety nine in Lidl, it was on the special shelf. And it's really good quality. Oh, it's so lovely. Are you bugging it in there? Sorry. You saved me some for my... A uh, hundred and twenty-five mils, which is a glass. How much do you need? Oh, I only need hundred mils or so. There we go. That will do. Yeah. And two. Oh, that's really, really nice. Honestly, she's brilliant at finding wine. Uh, so Seek them out. It, it look, it's called Collapso. It looks like. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Colpasso. Collapso. Colpasso. And to that, I'm adding a litre of mushroom stock made with callow mushroom cubes. Oh, that would just, just the wine makes it smell good. But if you don't want wine in your food, that is fine. It was it would be just as good. And this well, can be just as good. this can be done with white wine as well. Okay. And that's it. That's going to simmer away for 45 minutes now. So I'm gonna pass you over here to my sous chef. <laughs> Lady cheek. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna i I'm gonna put right, okay. In Sorry, here. come back to me. Oh, I forgot. I've got a little Bukigani. Bukigani? Yeah. What's that? Bukigani is a bouquet, bouquet of, of herbs. herbs. That's what so in there is thyme and parsley because I don't want them. Did you make that? I did. Oh. So clever. Well, and then, like um, bandage, hospital bandage. <laughs> it was actually from the turkey, it's a turkey stuffing bag. And from my garden this morning, because you didn't have any, two bay leaves. Hey, bay leaves. Lovely. Fresh bay leaves Ooh, are fabulous. Look. Fresh bay leaves. And then I snuck past my back doorstep and I saw this. Does anybody know what herb this is? I'm going to put it's, it in. It's not my favourite. Oh, it is one of my favourites. Does Can anybody see. know what it is? Mm. No? Nice. Good. Well, let's get guessing. Uh, Tori, are you watching? I reckon you might know what it is. Coriander. But I, no, it's not coriander. Marjoram. No, marjoram's tiny like thyme. Parsley. Not parsley, it's bigger than parsley. Oh, cilantro. No. Oh. It begins with... Weeds. L. Oh. Mint, no. Nettles. No, no that's Rosemary. not L. No. <laughs> right, you ready? Yep. Sage. Okay, so as I said, Lander. I'm going to make you a roast beef dinner sat in a Yorkshire with a gorgeous red wine gravy, and it will take you under 40 minutes. Lovely. So, and it's an affordable yeah. way to have a roast, because to buy a big piece of roast beef costs a fortune, doesn't it? Oh, so, look at these onions on how not to do them. <laughs> yeah, top tip. So in there were two red onions, uh, cooked in a, in a nice big knob of butter. Mm. Knob of butter? Knob. Yeah. Knob. He hasn't said anything yet. <laughs> Blimey. I'm a change man. Huh? I've oh! Done, I've done, babe, you've done so many knobs. You just, you've, you've done too many. So, so what I should have done was you swept them down so that there's knobs. lots of butter. No, 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 too far you now. Set me lots off. of butter, and then you put it on a very low heat with a lid on uh, till it goes soft. Till the till you can do that with the onions till they break up. But obviously, I burnt them, so don't do that. You just want them really soft, not caramelised. I mean, for some recipes that would be good because it's caramelised onion. But I love it when you. I'm sure it'll be fine. Nope. So then, um, a tablespoon of flour. Um, that's going to be our thickener, and that's cooked into the butter. So just stir that for a bit of thickening. We've unleashed the beast. And that's it now. Now I'm going to put some a little black pepper. I'm not going to put any salt because I've got um, stock. I've got a whole beef stock cube in there. Obviously, if you've got some fresh beef stock, that would be lovely. So we've got our flour, which is going to thicken our gravy. So I'm just going to put that in. What is it? Oh, I forgot what it is. What so you're it? putting in a hundred, two hundred, two hundred mils of beef stock. 
would have usually put the wine first. We've got about that. Put the wine first, doesn't matter. Ashley's got another song out in two weeks. Yay! Yay. Ashley. Good on, Ashley. And let's let's measure it so people know. One, two, five. Do you is think? One, two, five is in mine. So just to reiterate, this is going to be a meal served within a Yorkshire brewery. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so, right so look how nice and thick that is now. And then oh, I'm going to yes. put in 125 mils. You can put more if you want it really whiny and you want a lot more gravy. Just put a bit more wine. It's fine. It won't hurt it. Caroline Ibbotson, hope you're well and hope Fifi's Hi, well. Hi, Caroline. How are you? This is so, going to be a good one, says Caroline. So I'm, 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 um, I now, I would just simmer that on a very low heat until you're ready for your but next. you're farting. No. <laughs> no. This is what I said. Look not. at your sister behind, beside you. Do it again. Showing my trainers. Uh, <laughs> Showing my trainers. I'm just oh. going to put a little more, a bit more water. <laughs> and again. Uh, right. So I'm just going to let that cook down. Okay. Over here for our Yorkshire pudding. So I've got a hundred grams of plain flour. Good pinch of salt. I've got 150 mils of milk. That's just semi skimmed. Hey, can I just say, I, was, I, I haven't recovered from my mum cracking an egg with a knife. Yeah, she cooked Oh, yeah, I saw me. it. She did it nonchalantly. <laughs> and, oh, uh, Dina, can you get that on low? Two eggs. So that's 100 grams of flour, 150 mils of milk two egg yolks and this is our Yorkshire pudding. For any of our um, our foreign followers, welcome, hi. You might not know about Yorkshire pudding. Yorkshire pudding is a much loved, very traditional uh, now what's the history dish of here. It? Dish here, it's beautiful. Originally, this was made so that people, because there was so little meat, this would be um, given to people before their meal with the gravy, with the gravy from the beef, wouldn't it? Yep. So that people would be kind of full before they even started. I remember as kids when we went to um, see them Fran's wedding and we were given we were given a plate like that with a slab of Yorkshire and gravy first. So we ate that first, we ate the Yorkshire and gravy yeah. and then we had the meat and veg. Yeah, exactly, so that's, that's how it's done in Yorkshire. So, um, right, I'm just going to take this off for a bit because we need this pan. So someone's imagine. Asking, sorry. Sorry, go on, Tom. I was going to say, someone's asking us, are you going to make coronation? For the coronation? On it, what, the what, the one that Charles is recommending? That, yeah, well, it? there's a little bit of an egg shortage, so that's a bit of a crisis. Ah. So, um, but, but apparently the chickens have been let out this week. They did like a chicken run. Oh, did they? Yeah, they were opening them all out. They wouldn't come oh. out because they've been so scared of being oh, cooked damn, up. Damn. So all the free range ones were allowed to come out and they didn't want to come they out. They're out of lockdown. Yeah, <laughs> chicken yeah. down, chicken, chicken down. down. And uh, I might be making an eggless quiche, you never Ooh. know. Can you make an eggless quiche? Yes, you can. Oh, a bit egg shelly, don't they? But I don't like what they've got in there. So they've got poor beans. Broad beans, I'm not a broad bean fan, but... Was it, just quickly, was it Lovage? It was! Who got that right? Everyone. Well, no, not everyone. After, <laughs> after a long time, people started to say it. I've always really pulled away from beans. Not a fan of cannelli, black beans, but I've been really forcing myself. Because ah, no, 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 they no. are the greatest source of protein and fibre. I like fiber, all of those beans. And they are cheap. And we've got to get, really get people eating them because... Eat them. It, it's just so fantastic. If you're cooking on a budget, or you care about your health, you've got to get into beans, I'm, I'm just hooking one of these out. Because they're Thank fresh, they, they're they really pungent, so I really don't need to. Okay, so let me just check this heat. So, <laughs> You're like a prison warden. <laughs> like you're yeah. Prison block eight. Okay, so our Yorkshire pudding is done. Um, and I think it must be from my mother's uh, relationship. I like a woman with keys around her neck. So our Yorkshire pudding's done. I've got put two potatoes that I just brought to the boil in salted water oh. and um, and then just shook them about in the pan a bit because we want them to be small, our roast potatoes, because they're going to go into our Yorkshire pudding. Now, I would usually just pop these in with my Yorkshire pudding now. So if you're going to start them on the top and then... Um, 
you can put them in the oven, but I'm not going to do that today because I want to keep an eye on it because it's different. Yeah, and also you, you can't dare to open the oven when the Yorkshire's are in. So, in the oven, I have it on 220, and I've got two tins. Yeah, come over, Mark. I've got two tins. I've actually got a bigger batch of Yorkshire pudding mix here that I made earlier because... Oh, three carrots. Some, some people say half an hour it should sit. Others say it doesn't matter. I have to be honest, I've never really noticed the difference. So, and one thing I would say, if you put your Yorkshire pudding mix in the fridge and then put it in the hot oil, I don't agree with that because it brings the heat of the oil down and I think it makes a flabbier Yorkshire pudding. Now, I quite like a flabby Yorkshire pudding, yeah, so do but I. most of you like a lighter Yorkshire pudding. So don't do that. Let it come up to room temperature. But why I've made a bigger batch, because I need it for something else. Oh, God, I've got the wrong thing. Okay, so really, really important when you're doing your Yorkshire pudding is that, so that, my two tins have been in there, like, now, that, you want that fat as hot as you can. So what I always oh, do I is do a little, now, that has been in there for ages. Okay, that's not hot enough for me. Oh. You want, when the Yorkshire goes in, you want it to go, so we're just going to wait. That's been heating for ages. So I'm going to wait another five minutes for that. So um, that's not it. So my gravy is doing nicely. So I want you to imagine that's cooked 15 minutes. I'm going to take it off to give Dina some more room because it's not easy. Yes. Um, oh, yes. My and then she's got her potatoes boiling for her mash. So we've got our little roasties here. And then what we're going to do is I've just got some little baby carrots. I'll be just steaming so those. Cute. Chantonese. Chantonese. Yeah. Get <laughs> a good name from somebody. Jump out of skin. Get a steamer, guys. Really, because like I've got three of those, and if you've got you know a big family and you're doing lots of veg, and it's great because then you're only using one gas ring. So I'll put my peas in there. I'll put my carrots and broccoli. So I was having Brussels sprouts. You do swear um, by them, don't you? Know? I really do swear by them, and the thing is, whilst we're all trying to save gas, why have four rings on when you can have one? It tastes like that. The bedroom. It's a bit old, also, it's the best way to heat up things I find in the steam room. It yeah. heats things up so quickly, like rice or stuff like that. So, okay, we're going to risk putting the Yorkshire pudding in because I don't want you to get bored. Risk, eh? Risk, eh? Risk. You come, want come that you. when the your when the when this you hits are. the fat, you want it to go. Oh, when the fat hits the fan. Yeah. So, and you work quickly. Oh my God! Faster. We work quickly because you want to keep the oh the heat in there. So that's it. Don't open the oven again for twenty minutes. I love it. Do it's not cool. open the oven because your your Yorkshire pudding will collapse. I love it when you're so bossy. Collapse, Right, so my potatoes are going. Um, where? Where are they going? They're cooking along nicely. Um, right, so I'm going to talk to you about the beef side of this. Look at that. It's a roast. That is a whole wow. roast. How many is that supposed to feed? Right. Well, you see, this is what I mean. It's a really affordable way to do beef, a beef dinner. Yeah. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to slice that really thinly. So I think for a family of four... Easy. So if you've got two kids. But also the other thing you could do is if you you and your partner want beef, why not? Most kids don't like beef, actually. Hate it. You could put in their Yorkshire pudding some good sausages or some chicken, half a chicken breast each. Yeah. You know, and, and they can cook that in minutes some sausage rolls, some sage and onion stuffing rolls. So you've got beef dinner and a chicken dinner. Really nice. And the great thing is, you're not sweating over the oven for ages. Claire Kendrick says we weren't allowed to walk past uh, the oven when Mum's buildings were in. <laughs> for fear of them collapsing. I love that. Yeah. That is so funny. That's okay, so, so funny. do you need to do anything now, Dean, or should we carry on? Uh, carry on. Okay. <laughs> you don't need to get your sausage in. No. I do. Oh, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. Right, so, oh, the beef. The multi-classing like cooking steak. She's yeah. sausage like that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Those of you that have followed me for a long time in here will have heard me say this many times about the beef. 
So, out of the oven, out of the fridge, so it's at room temperature. Um, you don't want um, you don't want to take your meat straight out of the fridge into a hot pan. So what happens is the fibres get and then you get a tough meat. So I've patted that dry because we don't want it to steam. We want to we want the meat to caramelise. So I'm going to put some olive oil, always on the meat, not in the pan. If you put it in the pan, the smoke is crazy. You this way it's on. not. Yeah. Then some salt and more salt on that fat bit there. Mm. Not too close in on the beef because some people don't like it. It's done. And some pepper. And our pan is heating up. So we yeah, one more. Ages. So put your hand about here okay. to check whether, if you can feel it hot there, the pan is ready. How high? Show us again. Like that. You want the heat coming up. You look like Iron Man. So what I'm going to do first yeah. is cook the fat because I want a nice crispy bit. Now, oh, is that are they sticking? Yeah, a little bit. Um, it's all right. No, this one is really good on this. This is the kind of ideal hand show shot you get. Oh, yeah. We don't want anyone looking in our pans yeah, at no, the no. ideal home. All they're going to see there is this. Whereas, what? Uh, so have you explained how that's going to work? No, how is it going to work? Whereas the subs are going to just see it like this. Like this. Oh, okay. So yeah. if you're at the ideal home, they're going to see it like that. Well, hang on. We're going to be at the ideal home in, Glas on, in Glasgow on the 28th yeah. of May. May. So that will be a live show for people at the Ideal Home. But we're going, Mark is going to be there doing it in exactly the same way we do Curly Cooks. So it will be live streamed through the YouTube channel. Yeah, but what they'll get on the YouTube channel is slightly better than what they're going to get there. <laughs> yeah, don't get say that. <laughs> Anyone okay. in Glasgow, are you coming? Hey, I know you're coming to the Ideal Home. Yep. So look at that. So that's all lovely and crisp. You I don't... don't... Sorry, I'm going to Oh, can you get me um, some uh, kitchen paper? No, you're going to have to have a word of What about, please? Sorry. Please. Quick. Okay, so I'm just going to take some of that fat out because I don't want this place to be filled with smoke. So no, now I'm going to... So now in goes the steak. Look at that lovely crispiness, if you like that sort of okay, thing. Close, no, you can show can the I, crispiness. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Good, yeah. So, right, this is the really important part. People that have watched this lot know I say this all the time, but do not now move that steak around. Because if you do, because what's happening now, we're getting a nice caramelisation on the beef. And if you move it around, that, that doesn't happen. If you were doing two steaks, you would need to put this in, in a bigger pan. Can I say carrots? Can huh? I say carrots? Do you need to do the carrots? Can I say carrots? Oh, yeah, but I haven't got any room at the minute. We need another hob now. No, we I'm do. I think it's waiting at the door still. What's that? It's Tim. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. He's not there. So classic, it's great. We didn't have any room, I forgot. But I've got this. So I'm going to put that on there. Uh, Dina, could you get some peas in the freezer? I think, I think it's bird shelf and put them in there. Please. Also, get us peas. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's have a look. So what you're looking for is for that, see how that's still red? You're looking for the brown to move up because that's telling you that it's cooked. So I'm going to leave it a few more minutes before I turn it and I'm going to really resist prodding it, putting a fork in it, turning it over. Because then what will happen is we don't get that lovely caramelised wow, beef. We don't get, and also if you stab it with a fork, mm. what's going to happen? It's going to explode all over your face. No, all the juice is going to come out. Oh. You're desperately trying to keep for a juicy steak. This 
is forbidden. Always. Okay, so I'm gonna turn candle. this. I'm gonna turn this over. Oh. Wow, look at that. Yes. Look at how perfect that is. Look at that guys. With the potatoes glistening and that. It's two, isn't it? Ah! <laughs> what? It's two steaks. Oh, oh my god! Oh no! A bit. I want nice. nice big slices of steak. Well, oh my god! What I've just, I've just admit, when I saw it in the fridge, I was like, that is monster. I was like, even where did you get that? Because where do you find steaks like that? It's not going to look how I wanted it to look, but it'll be delicious. But we obviously have to. Everyone's roaring with laughter. We have to. Can you imagine? Anything like this that we are doing home is going to be absolutely going to be carnage. Oh my god! Do they uh, actually know anything about us? They they fucked us, but do they actually know anything about us? No. Have they realised? I spoke to them and explained that it's chaotic. Okay, the potatoes. But that's fine. Yeah. Look how lovely the potatoes look. So yeah, so now we're not even. Oh, the box of time. Can anyone tell me what time I put the Yorkshire in? Ashley, master chef winner, guys. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, Ashley. Hey. Ready? There's never waiting the beef because it's noisy. Okay. So, look, there's our Yorkshires. Martin. They're building up. Yeah, oh, wow. wow. Shame we didn't clean the windows. Yeah. <laughs> I tried to yesterday, but I couldn't have the right stuff. Go to trainers, what's this? Oh, look at that, mate. Look at that. Hey. Look at that, on the tongue. Does anybody want to see inside? Yeah. Look. It says Lidl. Oh my lord. Have you yeah. been to Lidl in them? Of course I have. Does anyone comment it? No, I'm just waiting. I like to skip down the middle aisle, I did. Mm. Not a soul. I'm picking right. up my socks today. Oh, come on. Yeah. I mean, would you ideally be in a Lidl? Maybe you need a Lidl uniform. No, apparently, there's a tracksuit coming. Oh, God. Is there? Yeah. And a bikini. And a bikini. And a bikini. I know the, swim, the swimming shorts. Someone suggested I get you the swimming shorts. Is blue, they're blue. <laughs> a little bit every little. <laughs> right, um, now, you don't have to do this bit because obviously it's not traditional uh, in, a, in a beef roast dinner, but I think the garlic, not too much, it's really lovely, so I'm going to put... Alex, I won't be cooking for you, I do home. That is not on the menu. So, oh yeah, that's the point. So, I'm just going to leave that to rest now. Now, I would usually do this pink, but because of people's sensitivity, and look, look at that. See, now I'd love to put a bit of bread in that. Just, just yeah, eat. what do we think the average person orders me? I think well done. Yeah. Well done. So, so now it can. So now that can rest. Oh, well, that's quite stressful, isn't it, Chi Chi? Eh? If you can rest the beef, it will be so much nicer and juicier because if you cut into that beef straight away, oh look at that. It will always rescue me. If you cook in, if you cut into that straight away, then all those lovely juices that you've maintained in there. Well, Claudine, put those in here because then they'll get that beefy garlic um, taste. Is it right that when you've cooked uh, a steak, it continues cooking for a bit longer? So it's like yeah, it does. under whatever it is you're going It does. Yeah. And when you rest it, don't rest it in the pan because, and don't cover it because it will steam and it will overcook. I've cooked it. See that? Now that has gone into the, that, that lovely beef flavour. I love when you do that. Do that again. <laughs> That's now, that's now. Trust me. So Bless him, there's not much you can do. I'm so proud of you. Right, so, don't they, uh, what are people saying about those potatoes? People are saying, I wish I could try your food, says Zoe. Um, Cara Belia says, when I was younger, I ordered a steak and cheese, oh, panini, and the waiter said, how do you want the steak? And I said, in the bread, please. <laughs> Did Very sweet. Oh, because yeah. you didn't know. Well, Dina, how are my peas and carrots doing? Uh, oh, Ashley thinks it looks amazing. They look amazing. 
Do you know what? We've nearly got a roast So we'll just ask Nicola H, good question. How do I know it's right through our prodding it with my digital thermometer? Someone um, hates it rare. How do you know? Um, it's so hard, isn't it? It's like when you cut chicken up to work it and then you've eaten it. If, like, I can tell that's medium by the way it bounces. Um, well, what I would say is you would keep the probing from the beginning. That's what I've always done. Because then you're not, it's already there. It's like when I use this one on the Ninja, it's already in there. You're not, it hasn't started cooking. Yeah. So put it in at the beginning, not halfway through the cooking. These potatoes, <laughs> I need my potatoes in Oh there. my God, are so good. Should we go over and have a look at our Yorkshires? Wow. So all you need Open for it. those, no. Uh, all you need for those is 20 minutes, but unfortunately, can anyone tell me how long I've had those in? Someone says, if you want to ever clean this, great top tip, use tin foil scrunched up to clean it. Oh. Because oh. I was worried of scratching it because it's my new oven. Guys, when did I put the um, Yorkshire pudding in? When did, guys, can you answer now? 10.20ish, says JJ. About 15 minutes ago. Okay, so it's got five more minutes. Right. I need so your what? carrots aren't cooked, but I need to drain my potatoes. Okay, well they'll they'll, they'll won't, they won't know they're not cooked. Well, they do now. They do now. No, I know, yeah. but I mean <laughs> they won't mind. They might. It's like, I've under, <laughs> it's like I've undercooked my gravy because Laura I didn't Doyle have... says 16.4 minutes. What? Really? Yeah. Oh, brilliant! Thanks, darling. But Nicola H says 13. <laughs> Get what you wish for, you are. So I'm just going to put my carrots. I don't want to use loads of pans. So I'm going to put my carrots there. You don't have to put any more butter, but I'm going to put a little butter. Yeah, and Murray says it doesn't scratch the glass, that tin foil. That's a oh, great yeah, tip. That's a great tip. Love a top tip. This is the way my mum always made our carrots when we were kids and roast dinner. And when I used to have a roast dinner at other people's houses, I used to think, these are the most disgusting carrots I've ever had because this makes them lovely. So butter, very finely chopped onion, or shallot or whatever and parsley and what you get there is a nice little freshness of the glass with the parsley and you get a little bite with the onion you're just sweating them down it's not like a big cook um, another way you can do that which is even less faff is just a bit of snipped chives uh -huh. with butter delish yep. honestly there is no comparison to getting just boiled carrots on a roast dinner and that is it no, what is it it's just Actually, parsley is an amazing enhancer. Amazing. A little honey. People parsley. Always, parsley. But that wasn't know. parsley that went in there. People always say to me, that was how do I get my kids to eat vegetables? And you say, put sugar on them. Don't make them. You say, don't burn your onions. <laughs> <laughs> parsley. You make them delicious because we tend to bang like vegetables down on a kid's plate, don't we? Half cold, no butter, no yeah. salt, no nothing. Janice Cosgrove says... <gasps> look at the Yorkshire puddings! <gasps> so she's looking forward to seeing you in both in Glasgow, Janice Cosgrove. Oh, yeah, yeah! Get yourself a front seat! Do come and say hello. Can I open it? No! Okay, so imagine they've cooked for, that's cooked for a little longer because we want the onions soft. And you just put your, your peas in, yep, your carrots in like that. Or turn it That's all right, I don't need it. And there you've got, look, doesn't that look lovely? So much nicer than just a boring, plain carrot. Okay, so then we've got our peas. Again, if you want to put just a teeny bit of butter or a little olive oil, just to give it a little sheen. So that then it doesn't have to be loads, just to give it a nice little sheen. And we nearly have a roast beef dinner. But I haven't got a thick steak. Nessie <laughs> Jeff says, pinch your thumb and middle finger together and feel the firmness of the skin at the bottom of your thumb yeah. is. And it should be the same as the steak for a medium one. Yeah. What if you've true. got an old Everything. thumb? That is true. A but... dehydrated thumb. That's a good point. <laughs> okay, there's our gravy. I forgot that you're supposed to put just a little splash of Worcestershire sauce. That's very English, isn't it? Worcestershire because it's from Worcester. That's what I thought. Does anybody know where St George originally came from? Hmm? Oh, does anyone know where St George originally came from? Mm. Go on. What was his original job? Yeah. Right. Are you getting off? Are you getting off set now? <laughs> Has anyone answered? Yeah, they all know the day. They all know the day, but do so they know where he was originally from? Good question. Has it oh. twenty minutes yet for my? I think it must be. Yeah, but they don't look. Quite brown. Gravy looks make... amazing. I can't see. Yeah, it looks better than mine at the moment. 
at the moment. So you can make a really big batch of this, guys. You know, and if you've if you've only got white wine, you could use white wine. You could use sherry. I you usually could use, use white wine in this. JJX says turkey. This Very is good. Now for an extra five points. What? No, there's no prizes. For an extra five points, what was the old name for turkey? Ooh. What is it formerly known as? Ooh. Not that I'm a geography teacher. Not the capital. No, the country. What was it? Turkey, formerly known Put as. Put a pinch of sugar in my little shop. Apparently, he died on the 23rd of April. That's why it's celebrated on the 23rd of April. Do you know he's celebrated in um, Muslim countries? Yes. The Muslim well, he wants to see, do the crusades. Yeah. See that? I'm going to pour that into my gravy. Oh my God, it just gets Sexy more baby. delicious. <laughs> By the second. Turkey was called Cappadocia. Oh, five points. Who was that? Do you want to do something for five minutes? Uh, yes, I do. That came okay. from... Oh, These potatoes. Oh. Uh, oh, it's gone. Right, Go okay. On. So oh, I'm Chrissy Haynes. Chrissy Haynes, well done. You know your geography. You know your history, rather. And your geography. They're both there, you know. <laughs> Double action. Yeah. Remind me to measure those Yorkshire pudding pans, because people want to know what... Do you, what? Know, do you know where your measuring thing is? Right. Wow, Sun's coming out, girls. Sun's out, guns out. Thumbs I've been doing my weights this week. Oh yeah. I've been doing my gargling for my vagus nerve. You've done your triceps. I've done my biceps, triceps, triceps. What about trapezoids? Trapezoids, yeah, I've done oh, them. Trapezoids. <laughs> right, I'm not, actually, when I do my cooking, I'll show you some of my. I used to do weights, you know, muscle posing. Oh, I did to, you? Yeah, I used to do that. You know, we have to stand. Yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah like, exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the turkey bird. Ouch! That was What's going on? Off. I'm sort of walking around. I think it's okay. been 20 minutes. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah definitely. leave you going. Yeah. There's okay. a statue of St. George in Cairo, says Bernie. Oh, here. how fabulous. Yeah, because people say he was past the year. Whoa. Whoa. Jesus. Right, I'm just going to make one up, wow, but look, look there you've Whoa, got them. Oh man! Both, both of them, look at them, stunning. That's phenomenal, isn't it? So I'm just going to make one up at the minute, but know that this is for two. Just because I want to do that one for the gram and all of that. <laughs> okay, so now we build our little, our, whoop, our beef dinner. So, what do we want? We want potatoes. <laughs> when do we want it? Want it now. For brekkie. Oh, yeah. So, there's our potatoes. My mum will be watching this now, waiting for this to come. This oh, yeah. Good yeah. These potatoes, I think, are the best potatoes I've ever made. Incredible the taste of them. And then to drop them into that beef garlic. They were golden. Were they the golden potatoes? Yeah, golden, golden brown. Golden Kings. Don't know the rest of the words. That's about heroin, isn't it? Golden, Golden Brown. Put these spuds in. Right, Golden. okay. Uh, oh, a bit of action going on over here. Yeah. 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 Right, so the steak, obviously, was supposed to be a mega stick. Right, some people like the, the fat. Oh, I hate the fat. So oh, that is good, perfect yeah. medium. Perfect medium. I like it rare. Huh? I'm going to put the veggies in I mean, there. I actually like it. You know they often say when they say, well, how do you like it? I say, Blue just show it the flame. <laughs> just show it the flame and then and put it away. And my carrots. So I'm going to put the peas. Oh. So you want to put the carrots. This is like playing, isn't it? This is like, like a game. Wow. Okay. Oh, sorry. sorry. Oh, you know what we need? What? Horseradish. Oh, oh I had fresh oh, one at home. Have a look in the other fridge. I might have some. Curly cock. So look, that's how that's how lovely and pink and oh my god, it's so perfect. Wow, that doesn't that look amazing, guys? What do you think? Oh, yeah, that looks great. Are they happy? Yeah. Hi, Mark. Please, can you ask Dina which red light pod she bought, please? Red, red light. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Um, which red light pod did you buy? Right. So. Texture like sun, says passive aggressive. Hi, passive aggressive. Wow. <laughs> That's a cool tag. Oh, delicious hazelnut bomb. Lovely Nora Doyle. Okay, Looks you ready? Great. We're going to do the gravy. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, man. She's going to show up with the gravy. 
So there we've got our gorgeous, look at that lush red onion and red wine gravy. Where shall I put it? Where's everyone want it? Where do you want it guys? Just say now. It's going to be a bit of a moment. You know why horse, horseradish are those long things? Yeah, they? I've you got one why, at home. You know why they're called horseradish? Hang on, hang on. Where do you want the gravy guys? Everywhere. Middle, everyone's saying middle. Middle. Now do a, down do a circular. Oh yeah. Oh. That's Sorry, amazing. but that is absolutely divine. That is everything. I think they need to see me try it. <laughs> you need to take a picture. Alan Smith has just said, oh yeah. Because sometimes I came across that, Alan. it's so essential. So I've got the gravy, I've got the potato, I've got the peas, I've got a bit of Yorkshire. Oh, man, oh my god, the gravy. Look, are you right in there close? Are you right in there close to swing your feet? All of that gorgeousness. <laughs> Stop it in! Mm. Mm. I have to wait to God, Dina. You didn't take a picture for the gram. I've got another one. We have the gram, that's why I only Someone give else said it, me. Ah. Oh, this is how I'm going to do. Whenever I do a roast beef dinner, this is how I'm going to do it. Well, I've got a master of vegan Yorkshire. I've had it in a good in um, Cafe Van Gogh in Stockwell, but uh, they, well, maybe they'll share the recipe with me, but I want to know. Golden brown. Yeah. Texture like some The potato. Now, I have to say it's really quite something watching you eat it. <laughs> it's like the galloping gourmet. Yeah, it is. Mm. And look at that Yorkshire, just perfect. So show us again, show us this. Mm. Oh, it up. You know what's great about that dish? Because really everyone knows that this bit of the Yorkshire is what you keep wanting to get up and have more of. But it's yeah. already there. Yeah. And this is plate. the way. This is the way, as the Mandalorian says, this is yeah. the way. Because guys, you can, if you're thinking, how would I get all those Yorkshires cooked? You can cook them. Yeah. Yes. And then Before just put hand. them back in the oven. Yeah. Mm -mm. This is the way. No, don't put them back in the oven oh, and close no. the oven because what happens is it will steam and it will make the Yorkshire pudding collapse. What about so get them out of the oven. You could freeze them. Oh yeah, you can freeze them. And then, yeah, make a batch of freezer. Because you know you can buy these large ones, can't you already frozen? them? There's, it's nothing on these, the taste of these. Yeah, brilliant. If I say so myself. Now I'll do one for the ground. Do you want a bit? Do you want a bit? But as, uh, I'm being serious when I say there's that lovely, because whenever you're eating a, a sort of, you know, roast, you feel a little bit shamefaced when you say, can I have another Yorkshire? Get some of the potato. potato and oh, where's the, the potato? Oh, oh, there's a potato. Oh, they're so oh. good because they've got that very slight garlic with the beef taste. Mm. Is that your brekkie? Mmm. <laughs> mm. What do you think? Delicious. Absolutely That's delicious. Really Midweek nice. roast. Absolutely gorgeous. In under 40 minutes. Here you go, Mark. It is the, it is Mark, the, Mark, please, oh, no. darling, take it. Oh. It is the best uh, English English dish, isn't it? Yeah. Well, mind you, it's it's it's. Go on, uh, Dean, you need to get this. Right. Okay. So over here in my lovely cast iron pan, um, I have three red onions that have been sweating away in olive oil and a bit of salt. Um, I'm going to add. I cooked a bag of parsnips and I steamed them, um, but I don't think I'm going to use a whole. Oh, there we go. Chuck them in, lovely. Now, these are the vegan sausages I've gone for um, this week because they were two quid. Ah. And two quid is very cheap. Has anyone tried these heck vegan sausages? I'm interested to know. What okay. the heck? What the heck? It's such a good name, isn't yeah. it? Um, now, Jill, while you're um, around, can you look for a masher, please? Yeah. Just like this. I said, please. <laughs> oh, now the aroma wasn't great when I opened the packet. Mm. 
<laughs> they're all made from peas. So I'm going to nestle these little babies in here. Waiting for a vegan sausage. Look at that. That's not great, is it? Or did I slip that when I popped it in? They've got a good. They've got a good texture. They're solid. They're solid. Not as solid as yours, I'm sure. Mad. Your sister, yeah. Your sister needs to get a grip. It's bad. Yeah. Get a grip on it. Right, so I'm going to tell you about, while these are little browning a little bit, they're going to go into the oven. Um, so the mashed potato I'm doing today is with um, olive oil and garlic. So this morning I put those in a very, very low heat so it's really filled the olive oil um, with the garlic taste. But I will be, they're nice and soft and I'm going to mash those into the potatoes. Um, let's have a bit of thyme in here. We'll add a bit of thyme. Thyme tastes great when it gets in your teeth, you know. It does, but what did I, what I listened to last night? I've got it's absolutely such a phenomenal hive. It's probably something to do with HRV since that's what I was looking up all night. HRV? What? HRV, heart rate variability. Oh. <laughs> right, now this is my weird little bit to the recipe. Yeah, marmalade. Ooh. Marmalade, why not? I never liked marmalade. <gasps> Oh, oh, you don't like either. anything I cook with. No, I agree, well, yeah, but I like what you I, cook. I don't like my lips. Just don't tell me what you're making. <laughs> yeah. This was so delicious. Right. Yeah, oh, no. so. I don't like my Aldi marmalade. Mmm, smelling good. Randy Lou says, Dina, you're such a lad of natural cooks. Love it. Oh, thanks. Oh, no, sorry, natural cook. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I'm that at all. <laughs> and uh, let's have a tablespoon of oil. Oh, mate. Then it, then it will drip all over my top, yeah. won't it? Actually, I'm going to have two tablespoons just to make it a little bit more fluid. And then the stuff that Nadia hates. But this is optional. You can add a tablespoon of mustard, grainy mustard, plain mustard. You could even add uh, a bit of harissa. It's how you want it to be flavoured. I'm going to take that off now. Okay. Hot, isn't it? Yeah, it's very hot. Oh, that is such, it seems such a weird combination, but how lovely and British can you get the marmalade on your sausages? Paddington Bear! Yes! Paddington Bear 3, he's coming. I have inside information, but I will not share it. About about Paddington that. 3. Oh, I know about Paddington oh. 3, I do. Right, okay, so let's just skip into the middle. Don't forget, uh, there's a big announcement coming later, guys. Big announcement, a half announcement. They're browning up quite nicely, those hot sausages. Yes. Fabulous. Whoa. Now parsnips, you see that parsnips with the marmalade is going to get so enhanced now. Okay, I so. love a parsnip. Yes, you like it because it's sweet. Exactly. Right, okay, let's chop it on. Oh. Oh. People love a tray bake, no washing up. Yeah. Whoa, look at that. So this is going to go, you can, my assistant can put this in the air fryer in the other room. Uh, or is that oven, I've put it, I've put it on the oven next to it, do you want to change it to air fryer? No, no, I want to, I just call it the air fryer. Okay. So you can see that marmalade is breaking down into a nice sauce now, and hopefully that will caramelise everything. Oh, it smells so good, trust so me, say, honestly. So say you're having some vegans and some meat eaters, you could do this roast beef dinner and that, yeah. couldn't you? I mean, this, how quick was that, literally? I mean, a, a, a tray oh, bake God, is just God. the best. Right, you're going to take that next door for me, yeah. please? My trusty assistant. It's heavy, that one, isn't it, nice? Did you get me a masher? Did she get me a masher? Oh, a masher. Did she no. get me a masher? What was my instruction? I said, masher, please. Can you see one anywhere? No. Oh, my gosh. Perhaps I better taste some wine. Yeah, I need to taste some wine. Okay. Get it so, open. Is it cold? Oh, so, no. no, that was... So this is from Aldi, Argentinian Melbach. Um, Argentinian wines, because they're grown... The, the grapes are so high. They grow at mm. such altitude. They get maximum amount of sun. Oh, so they a make a really, a really good um, wine. Mm. So Argentinian Melbach, great full-bodied mouth with flavours of mm. cherry and plum. 13% and vegan. Potato mash, please. Mm. Okay. 
Whenever you're having a full roast dinner. I think yeah. you need to. I think you need to start being a bit more like Dominic Raab. I'm going to put she's it. Not, in she's not doing things when you take. I'm going to put it in this glass um, that Nadja oh. recently purchased at oh, TK. Oh, check out the No Name Sunday Show to see where. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Right here we go. So the reason I chose this because I was looking for a budget wine for today, okay. and this is in out at the moment for four pound forty nine. Four pound forty nine. You know, as a recovering alcoholic, I've got a compilation in my room that I add to every week of you drinking wine. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> Just go in and watch it, really weird. That's nice. It's good, isn't it? Not, I mean, it's nice, but not as nice. Yeah, but as that's, that. different, that's completely yeah, different. That's a Nero d'Avola, and this is Don't a Malbec. Don't diss a Malbec. Don't diss a Malbec. I can only have a few more sips, folks, Why? because I've got to take mum and dad out. Uh -huh. so. right. okay. My trusty sous chef has got my masher ready. Now, rest in yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> there's absolutely no reason why everybody shouldn't eat vegan mash. What's your tip? Okay, so <laughs> vegan mash. I like a mash to have cream, butter and salt. Well, you can have that now because, as you know, I'm a Flora Butter fan uh, and I'm a uh, Elmley and an Oatly cream fan. So okay. you can barely tell the difference. I've made it for you guys, yeah. you don't know. So, okay, so beyond the, in the ingredients, what is the top tip to a good mash? I always thought it was overcooking the potatoes. Well, the top tip is other things to cut the potatoes smaller than you think. Uh, don't make them big and they boil and they blow out around the edge and they're all ah. raw in the middle. Mm. Um, that's my top tip. Now, I'm going to hook out the cloves of garlic. My other top tip is, once you've drained the potatoes, put them back in the pan, on the heat, just for a minute or so until they're totally dry. Because mm. that avoids that horrible watery mash yeah. thing. So wow, look at that. I put 150 ml of olive oil. So you need to put it in a small pan so you're covering the garlic cloves. So you're kind of almost confying. So confying is cooking under oil. So they retain such superb flavours. So if you do confit tomatoes, confit aubergines, confit asparagus, everything like that, it makes it so tasty. Now I like lots of black pepper, she says. Um, I love a confit. I love filming confits. I seem to film them all over the world. Oh, do you? Yeah. They seem so posh confit and bouncy, don't they? Yeah, right, so um, I did salt the potatoes before, but it's really important to me. Seasoning in mash is so important. Dina is a mash queen like she's the aubergine queen. Well, Can you put other things other than just salt in? Can they're perfect. Herbs? Yeah, I'm going to put... Um, that was salt. I requested pepper. The funny thing is, now Kitso, I've sorted my cupboards, but only she knows where everything is. Yeah. We need to be like school and have labels on all the doors. That is the case with most people in their kitchen. Will you be making coronation quiche or special? A coronation special. I'm going to make. I'm not telling you. You've got to. You we, we are celebrating the coronation. We well. are. We are. We are. Is anyone having a party? No. Is anyone celebrating St George's Day? See, I think that's a day that people don't be. I mean, no. that, you know. The St. Patrick's, now, St. Patrick's is always yeah. celebrated, isn't it? Mental. And um, St. David's and Burns Night. But I don't know if many people celebrate St. George's. And I think when I was looking it up, it, it didn't come into favour yeah. for celebrating yeah, yeah. until about 200 years ago. So there we've got yeah. olive oil. Any Italians watching makes the best mash. It really does. Oh, and that garlic. Of course, I want to put some English flavour into that because that is very Mediterranean. So let's have a good old fashioned chive in there. Lovely. And I'll put this aside while my sausages are baking and my gravy is nearly ready, but I think you can possibly go to Mark next. Okay. Okay. Um, can your wine go, go over a little bit, the, your gravy? Yeah. Just so I can get Definitely. The... Definitely. Oh, a so, nice green mash. If this is your first time with us, guys, there's always a point uh, in the show where we get Mark, who doesn't, who doesn't cook, but actually has the potential to be a very good cook. He's a natural cook. And sometimes we get him to, to cook, like, how to cook perfect sauce, how to cook perfect roast potato, all of that. And sometimes we just do something that's yum and delish. 
And today it's yum and delish. Oh, what do you think then, Cheech, eh? Me and, and you, today, kid. Can't touch you. Don't with my zero hands. help. No help at all, Dina. Oh, yeah. Oh, he gosh. is going to make apple, apple cinnamon sugared fritters, which would go beautifully after your Yorkshire pudding. Am I going to be told anything? I'm yes. just going to tell you oh. what to do. Oh, okay, and I'm going to do it. She's right. going to read out the method to you. Okay. So okay. Shall I, shall I be kind? Yeah. yeah, just read the method to him. Don't, don't help him. So over here we've got apples. Oh, Dina, can you look up what 375 degrees is in in centigrade? Yeah, because we need this is only centigrade. It needs to be at 375, Leo. I don't need to hand it to me. I can look it up on here. Oh no, sorry, I'm handing it to you. Centigrade. Okay, 190. Wash my hands. Good lad, good lad. So we want the oil to get to 190. Where's my wine? So, Mark, I'm just telling you that first of all, you need the oil to get to 190. Finally, the grown ups are in the room, eh? Yeah. Ha! Hang on, I just need my glasses because there was a 190. So, 190. Okay, so 65. So, combine right. the flour, sugar, salt, and baking powder. Oh, hang on, your bowl's over here. <laughs> bowl's here. Say so that you combine. The flour, flour, sugar, salt and baking powder. Flour, sugar, sugar. There's salt in there, I've got the salt, salt in there. Salt and baking powder. powder. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. What was that? It Sorry, did that look a... like baking powder? Yeah, it did, did, it did. Yeah, it did. So that's a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. That's what that was. Yep. Thanks. In a small bowl, whisk the milk and egg until combined. Oh, you need to get a jug. You know. How much milk? Is that big enough? It? Get a jug, because I didn't realise there was milk. Jug. Forgot about the milk. Uh, get that jug over there, Dina. Not the one with the red one. That's only had milk in it. You can use that one. Can I? Yeah. Should I wash um, it? So combined, sorry. In a small bowl, whisk the milk. I can't remember how much milk it was. Milk. Um, this is the milk here. Yeah. This much. Done it. How would you do it? Great. Whisk the milk. Egg. And egg. Whole egg? Yep. I almost feel like I'm walking on eggshells. That's not going to be enough milk, surely? Yeah, it's only a batter. You're not making a great big... Oh, that just hit me in the forehead. <laughs> oh, dear me. Whisk. Smaller whisk. Yeah, whisk. Just whisk. A fork, a fork. Yeah. fork. Is, a, is a whisk. Please. By any and, other name. And oh. to combine. But why do you always, why do you do that every single week? I mean, there's week? so little liquid in you there. How do you manage to get... No, it's really annoying sound. Why do you show off and lose half the liquid? Not learning week by week. I am. Oh. That noise is awful. If he's at school, his target. What's his target? His target. <laughs> oh, give him his it's target. It's to what? Slow down. <laughs> yes. And listen. We listen. Every week. Right. Add into the dry ingredients. I'd have liked you as a teacher. <laughs> yeah. And Add into which mix agree? until just cooperate. Co Cooperating. <laughs> There's something else I could do more. Pour in here and yes. whisk. As I do, or once it's it done. It just says add into the dry and mix until. Incorporated. Okay. Doesn't feel like there's a... going Because he's doing exactly the same thing we just told him. But going it... like a maniac. Right. No, I've got it. That's not right. That's not enough milk. More milk. This oh, is... no, 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 Just keep going. Now it's a thick, thick batter. All right. It's not a runny. But how the apple is going to stick in that if it's runny? We've got this. Um, on the get internet. the guns. Never get the guns. This. That's perfect. That's fine. Show us your guns then. Come on. That's quite right. stiff. Toss. Pardon? Toss. What? The apple chunks with the cinnamon and sugar and dump into the mixture here. into the batter. So you've got to toss cinnamon and sugar into the apples. Sorry. Cinnamon and sugar into the apples. Yep. Try, try not to bang stuff in. And then dump into the batter. Hang on. Wait, you haven't mixed them, have you? Oh, we shouldn't have told you. Oh. That's supposed to be telling them anything. Oh, yeah, you see, see, I was going to make that mistake because you rush. I'm not rushing. I'm you getting... are. Look, look, there's an adage. Go slow and then slower so still. Weird. I'm just going to say this round. Sometimes... If you have a partner like this, my friend's got a son <laughs> like this, and she said, oh, God bless him. It's lucky when he wants to cook. She but he goes in, he throws everything around. He's got... He's got tea towels flicking over his, sounds like over me. his shoulder. I said, oh, my God, you're Where's my tea towel? No, you don't need... I need a tea towel. There you go. Um, right. 
So Hank, it's very hard to toss right, in a very so small... Right, so you toss well, why them... Why don't you toss them in the, on that plate then? And now you've got to... The word is dump the mixture into the bath. I like dump. that. Dump. Here we go. Take the whisk out. Hazelmel bond spell is exactly the same. Dump. That's it. And stir around. No, Mark, try not to make them... Stir sense. just a bit to move the apples around. Stir just a bit. I'll try not to make any squeaky sounds, girls. So how is everyone? Is everyone looking forward to the half announcement? The half announcement. The half baked announcement. Yeah, Sometimes the fastest way to get there is the slowest. Yeah. yeah. You know that? Yeah. Oh, this smells My great. My son does the same, then he boasts he's the next Gordon Ramsay. Oh, so we don't need another Gordon Ramsay sweet, in the world. Oh. I love Gordon Ramsay. So Mark, have you been checking your oil? Because it needs to get to what's it, Dina? 190. It's at 150. Okay. So it Turn it up says a you're gonna this is what you're gonna do next. Frying heap heaping spoonfuls. Or oh, not, not the fiercely. Cookie it will go too hot too quick. Cookie scoop. Just up a bit. God, this is the knife edge stuff, this isn't it? Heat. The heat and flame bit of cooking is just knife edge. Fry heaping spoonfuls of the batter. Being sure you get apples in each scoop until golden. Oh, this feels like where it's going to go wrong. Well, you have to make sure the heat's at the right stage. I'm a bit worried you, he might put that one too high. Is this a potato thingy? Yeah. Do you remember those? We used to have a woman who, and they used to do it at school, didn't they? Go like yes. That. Bang! Yes. And sometimes if they really liked you, they'd give you two. Yeah, unluckily. And they look like, they look like boobies. <laughs> You're unlucky. They look like boobies. You're unlucky. They did look perfect. like boobies. They're like little igloos. Oh, my, my gravy's a bit burnt. Oh, so... Just turn it off. Yeah. Do you think it's going to be any good at the Are, you, are you looking at the gas? Oh, are you looking at the oil? 100, it's going to be forever, 160. 160! But you just That's, said, no, every no, time no, I but, turn it up, but sweetheart, you watch, you look, you just, just, just have a look. Is it going up too fast? Oh, no, 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 it's good now. It's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, wow, look, crack. Hang on, careful. Hang on, look, right. small crack. Yeah, what does that mean? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? It's, just, it's 160. Okay. That's going to melt it. 160, you need it 190. 100, oh, oh, I thought you said it was ready. I didn't, I said 160. It's at 160. Wait two minutes. But Meanwhile, just... I'm trying not to cause any noise because I'm supposed oh, to do this with my... Yes, I can. Hang on. Look, so you've got caramel, crack, small crack, hard balls, I'm reading it to you, hot, hard balls, soft ball, sterilised. This is a vicious <laughs> thermometer. Immersion. Turn it around so you can see. So this is for like a sugar thermometer. And you need it at different, you sugar at different um, thingy juice. So why don't you give your apples a stir? I hey. think that'll be at 190 now. Give your apples a stir. <sighs> apples Try and a stir. Now, Mark, Mark, just a warning, right? Be careful now. A lot of very hot oil. No throwing yourself around. No? Just checking my sausages. Just careful. Yeah. I'll check mine earlier. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Just do two. How do you... Why are you pressing that? Just I want to it scoop it. Yeah, but you you're not scooping it. Oh, I see. Yet, you? If you scoop that in there, it's going to fall out. So you out just do it like that. Right. I'm not using no. this bit at all. Yeah, you can when you're over by the oil. Oh. Don't. Hang on. Don't do it. Wash. You're not at the pan. I don't understand. Can I take it over? Yep. Yeah. Right. Now lower it slowly. Right. Oh, okay. Exactly. Right. Did you? What did you do? That's hot. Yeah. It's a okay. pan. I don't understand. Am I it's turning... a pan. It's on gas. Just do it how you want. No, 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 no. no don't do the clipper. Just, just put Don't do the hand. clipper. Don't do that thing. What do I do? Do I just tip it? Top it. Toss it. Don't throw it. Release. Lower it. Oh, yes. you do have to be there. Winning. Another one. Right, do a bit less. They're too big. Just okay, do a bit less. a bit less. Oh, my gosh. Okay, don't throw it. Lower it to the oil and because that will splash. Right, turn it over. Right, that's it. Let's just do two. No, do three. No, do three. I want to do three. three. Best things comes so, in threes. Yeah, definitely. So they Step say on Playboy. I'm scared you're going to get careful. Oh. Nobody do it like this. You've got it Nobody. Like... What a weird way to do it. Oh, Left-handed oh. and upside down. Right, now don't don't touch. It's always the worked for me. I let's, think. <laughs> let's check the um, temperature. 
Is that hot? Oh, what was that? Where are we at? Huh. Watch it. What's the I'm watching it. I'm watching it. I can't see it. Yes, I can. <laughs> oh. 180. No, 190. They look like they need to be tossed. Tossed. No, don't, no, don't take the word tossed. No, stop. I feel desperate. Not a wet fork in there. No. Right. Oh, it's going to fall in. Oh, my God. Dina, Dina, what? just what do, do something with him. Oh, my God. You're, you're going to set fire. No. It's this. Mark, put it this is a nightmare. You're going to set fire to the table. Just put to... it on the worktop. Put it on the worktop. Just burnt. turn them over. They're burning. Oh, oh man. Oh. oh. Toss, toss one more in. Flipping hell, Nadge, it's you getting me to put the bloody thing in. Turn it down. Are it was... you sure that was the right temperature thing? Oh, yes. Nads, Nads, it was going fine and then you told me to do something I didn't need to do. I didn't. You did. Right, just that one. Let's just have one decent one. Yeah, let's get this one out. Let's get Can give us... Yeah. Let's put them on that plate where you've got the whisk. Oh, my God. God <laughs> Way too hot, that oil. Nope. I think 160 is That's there. good. Get me another plate, please, someone. No. Yeah, no, that's... Yourself. I'm telling you I that's... I can't. I'm filming. Oh, God. Well, you didn't tell me. Thank you. My hair stinks of frying. Don't you need... Um... <laughs> right. 180 is too hot. 190 is too hot. It says that on the recipe, but go to 160. Because otherwise it's going to get burnt like that on the outside. Go get, get the heat oh, to 160. Oh, this fucking thing. Oh, right, no, 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 it won't be cooked in the mid yet. Give it a couple more minutes. Okay. So go and get another plate. Get another one of these. Another get plate. Another plate. I'm going to do another one. No. I want to get three okay, right. Okay, be careful. Be careful. Right, okay. So then, we're going to drop them in some more sugar and cinnamon to make them look nice. I think that's done. Take that one out. Oh, that's what you're filming. Um, I so we need another... We need another plate of now sugar. That's on another one. Another plate. Did you say that sugar on this? Yeah, on here we can do it. So get some, get the caster sugar in there, in the cupboard. Caster sugar, then we do it. And then get cinnamon from in the drawer. Cinnamon from in the drawer there. Cinnamon. No. Not loads. You don't need tons. That's enough. Then get some cinnamon. Hold on, it's all going to be. Check your dumpling. Yeah. Turn it over. Looks good. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Who said the other thing? The doors bit cinnamon. was a strip. The bloody drawer admin would be the Turn problem. Turn the oil off, look in the drawer and find the cinnamon without panic. Oh, here. A little bit in there? Yeah. Not a lot though. Okay. Keep it like this for breakfast. I should do cinnamon things. So make it nice. Okay. Just drop, drop them on the plate and just give them a toss of that. Oh. Right, now go and get a nice little pretty plate. Yeah, hold on, let me just... the green round. Yeah. Guys, how have I done? So, these, so go, and get, go and get a little pretty plate. Too stressful to watch this <coughs> love life. <laughs> oh. that? It's like my house. He's making me want to drink my vino. Yeah, it's making oh. me want to <laughs> making me want to relax. He's right. making me want to drink my vino. Here we go. Hang on, can just I say something? Just I just think. Yeah. Put some more. Yummy. They look like an apple donut. Oh, nice. they're your favourite kind of thing. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, come on, don't, don't throw it. <laughs> Mark, Mark, just go slow. <laughs> no, put. No, that looks right. Put, put. I think that looks nice. Put a rose on it. Looks awful. It looks awful. It's about just. What are you doing? Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> there, okay, you there, go. You go. there you go. There you go. Bring it round. Let me do a taste test. <laughs> it's the taste test time. Okay, we're going to taste test now. Oh. oh. Let's have you hold it. Okay, so they look like gorgeous donuts. Lovely and crisp on the outside.
Let's look in the inside. Raw. Totally raw. <laughs> <laughs> Why has that happened? Because too big. you were jumping about, showing too off. Too big in what way? Is not paying right? attention and you had oh, no look. idea oh. how long those fritters were in there. So how do you make that work? First of all, to be fair, I think the heat that... <laughs> No, not it you. Oh. too quickly. Yeah, not you. What they suggest is too hot. Well, it it's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be one sixty. I don't oh, know why. I done good. But this goes to show you guys. Just be so careful with these recipes so online. So it wasn't me who did them. I say. Make, make them no, the first one. <laughs> the first one. The oil was too hot, so it burnt on the outside. But the second one, when you had it at the right temperature, you cold just cold. were showing off. You oh, were like, it? you were at the bar, you were stepping back, you were chatting to Dina, you weren't but looking at... I just needed to leave it for longer, didn't I? Yeah, but you, did, but you panicked, do you look at it? So that's why I was stepping back and chatting to Dina. Didn't so you it. panicked, you looked back, you went, oh, it's time to get it out, showing off. Got it out, then you were showing off with your cinnamon. So I've got to take the outside edge and try it. There's a tiny bit here that's good. Is that good. what you do as a master chef judge? To give me some positive feedback. Um, do you know what? What? Totally delicious. What a bit that's cooked. Really, really lovely. So, what are the lessons you've learned? Go slow. <laughs> <laughs> go slower still. Do you want to see again, guys? <laughs> Another thing I would say is make them smaller. I would make them that big. The size, size and then they would look really nice on the plate. Yeah, but you so gave me the ice cream scoop, so... Yeah, that's pretty tricky. Oh, so, yeah, so no, but with none of us have made this before. Next time, I would say just get one spoonful and drop it in, a bit like an onion bhaji. Really. Yeah, delicious. Well, looks nice. Yeah, the outside edge, honestly, Mark. Let me let me get you a bit. It's a, it's just like a donut. Hang on. Is that how you make donuts? No, no. they've got yeast. We made donuts, didn't we? Oh yeah, nice. Delicious. Oh, fabulous. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well done. Good job. Half baked announcement. Right, half-baked announcement. So whilst he was clowning around and time is ticking away, yeah. um, I oh. mashed my vegetables that were in that pan. Nice. Right, with just a masher. Now I am going to add two oh, tablespoons of miso. This gives it a really rich flavour and so you didn't much. Turn the oil off. And Boys so much hand. goodness, and so much goodness, and a uh, tablespoon of yeast, which um, some lovely lady last night told me that this isn't made from, this is made from synthetic vitamin B, so I better start looking into, right. Now, this gravy is looking very thick, and I can't put the kettle on because it's too noisy. Um, oh. But, Nadja, yeah. could you stand over here and zhuzh? No, you go and get my sausages. Who has got one of these and who could not live without it? It is oh. the best invention ever. Just on blurry, let me just check I'm on blurry. Just gonna do something, guys. Lovely. Look at this. Look at that. I'll take that, I'll take that in there and do it. Yeah, it's very, it needs a bit of water in it, but we haven't, whoa, -ho -ho, look at those. I need to taste test one before I put it on the plate. So, I'm gonna take it in there to yeah. too noisy. It needs some water in it though. I've put so, some. heck, Mr. Heck. Oh, it's got good texture. What the heck? It's a chip alata though, isn't it? It's not, yeah. a it's not a sausage. No, it's a shower, it's a grower. Yeah, it's, it's very good the way they've managed to get that kind of skin on it, which is very clever. Um, you know, like I always say, if you're new to veganism and you're still, yeah. Missing that bite of meat. Beat of bite. By the way, he's eating the apple thingy mm. while I'm eating this. <laughs> oh, good. Mm. Let me go again, sorry. Not, again. not sure about the texture. Heck, sorry. Anyone out there? I like Beyond Meat ones, but they're very expensive. Mm. Okay. Mm. Not bad. Okay, let's plate up. Let's plate. Look at the chaos today. This is my job after this oh finishes my God. today. Oh my This is terrible. I find I get this quite mindful though doing it. I find. Yes, you seem to really yeah. enjoy it. What is that? 
What is that? That was the Buki Garni. What is mm. this on the plate, rather? So in here I've got my mash. I'm just going to add that last little bit of oil. And if you didn't use all of this oil, keep it. You've got lovely garlic oil to cook with. Oh, yeah. Look at that shiny, lovely mash. Nice. Mmm. I am a complete... What? what? Oh, my God. What have you done? I know what you've done. I pressed the button that I thought I was going to get it off and it went everywhere. You're joking. Go, go, because it won't work in here. Oh, my God. The gravy's everywhere, yeah? Yeah. I knew it. No, no I just sprayed myself with it. Oh. So I'm still left gravy. Okay. Do we like a sausage in our mash? Yes, we do. What an idiot. It was like on Below Deck Sailing yesterday, this super wonderful chef. And she spent hours, hadn't she, making this Michelin gazpacho. <laughs> put it in the thing and it, she hadn't put the lid on. And it went oh all over my the mini kitchen in the... Oh, this, I just tasted this. It's divine, guys. It's... Um, you could make it smoother, but it's just... I didn't you can make it smoother and you could make it oh, a bit thinner. You should do it this way around so they can see that going on. Look how lovely that is. Right, I need my assistant to clean the plate. She's yeah. very good at that. These caramelised onions, just delicious. Wow. Guys, if you're wanting to clean your plate and it's got a bit of a smear, what you do is you put a little bit of vinegar onto your paper and then you won't get the smeary look. You'll just get a clean plate. Oh, I'm getting this really weird thing happen. Oh, don't put too much because it looks so lovely to have all. Just like that. Put it there. Maybe let them see well, it there. All the hairs on my right arm just suddenly stood up. Le look, at, look at that. Your look, HRV. Look at that gorgeous. We'll just put it that side. That is so delicious. I just tried it. It's so some. rich. It's delicious. It's so good, honestly. Well that, done, Dean. And Beautiful. that, you could, there's loads there, freeze it up in bags. Um, yeah. It's a nice thing to do on a Sunday. You know, just let all yeah. the vegetables roast in the oven. Yeah, I'll like, blur it again once again. Oh. Yeah, so you know, if you're doing a roast, you've got the oven on for something else, put a tray in with vegetables, you know, it could just be onions even, and just so you've always got, and then you could just be just mm. making gravy, can't you? And mm. saving it. Mm. Right, it's time for our announcement. Dina, that is beautiful, that dish. We have to get a nice bowl of that for the grand. The announcement. So, the reason we are making only half announcement is because we only know half of what we're going to do. Of the logistics, you mean? Yeah. So basically, over the weeks of this series of Curly Cooks, and we'll announce it at the end, but we haven't worked out how many weeks, or how the person is going to win. Very half announcement. Is somebody, one of you, is going to win the three of us coming to your house Ooh! and cooking for you that might be that we teach you something we don't know we haven't worked out what it is but we'll be telling you how you can enter and um you would have to be okay with us filming that's one of the things you definitely have to be okay with us filming and preferably um, anyone in ibiza or mallorca yes <laughs> or australia <laughs> um yeah just anywhere wherever you live don't worry about that apart from if it's abroad of course well we could do europe yeah we could do europe Good East, yeah, we can do Australia or America. Yeah. Um, so next week, we will have more information for you. So make sure you tune in live next week at 10 o'clock. Yes. Well, most someone says amazing. You've worked, out the, you've worked out the prize, not the method. Yeah. Totally. But you know why? Because but quite often we, you work backwards. From someone said when you come to Sweden. What about yes. Yeah. Sweden? Yeah. But we equally will Sorry. go to Croydon. <laughs> Croydon. Um, yeah, we would go to Sweden. Why not? Why not? Love to go to Sweden. Bromley? Bromley. Bromley. Just down the road. Down the road. 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. so... so. Ah, big question though. <laughs> I like that. Love life. Will you clear the mess up afterwards? No! <laughs> <laughs> so, no. that oh yeah, that's going to have to be another thing baked into the <laughs> T's and C's. But you have to understand that your kitchen will be left in chaos. Yeah. So you have to... Who's that that said that? Lisa, uh, Love Life, I think. Love Le life. I love that you've noted that because I can almost... Love Life. ...see a TV show of this. Oh, I know. Yeah. Would you let us come and chaos? Destroy your yeah. kitchen. Cause chaos in my <laughs> kitchen. Well, Faith makes a good point. You could zoom abroad. You could zoom this. Oh, yeah, you yeah. could. So there we go. Yeah. You could. Yeah. 
Or if somebody wins and they really, really don't want us visiting their kitchen, we could Zoom to you. Yeah, I wouldn't want anyone coming to my kitchen. But remember, we, we don't care. We, we are not like, oh God, this kitchen's a bit this or a bit that. No. We literally don't sit, we are not the kind of people that give a shit about that. Everything is about, everything, <laughs> everything is about the person. Yeah. So it's really, really important that you don't feel like, oh, but it's my house and she's off the telly. And yeah, she's and you've, got to be, you've got to be happy being on camera. You, you yeah, know, you yeah. Wanna... We're, I'm not going to be coming and going, you know, I'm not going to suddenly change my whole person. Personality, you know what I'm like, so I'm not going to suddenly be like, Ew. get what you see. Yeah. And in fact, if your kitchen's a bit of a wreck, it's going to make us feel perfect. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> I'm going to go and tidy um, Anyway. So, Martin yeah, Martin. we will be giving you the reason why it's only half baked. It's really important that we get worked, worked it out really, uh, really Michelle's properly so that everybody has a fair chance. So we've got to work out how we do that. Right. What are we doing? We're doing oh. Morris dancing. Oh, okay. nice. It's St. George's. Opposite foot. Opposite foot. Opposite foot. Opposite foot. Opposite foot. Opposite to you. Yeah. Oh, just one up and down. This is a Morris dance. This is shit. Has anyone changed places? Sorry, Morris. 